How are you guys doing? And welcome to game two review of Fox Gaming versus the Black Lotus. So as you probably noticed, if you watched my last video, I had my camera over half of the minimap, which uh, I probably won't do again. So I'm sorry about that. So let's start off going into this game. Fox Gaming won the first game. Rumble was a big factor. Graves is also a kind of a factor because I think it's probably Mirai's uh, most comfortable champ. LeBlanc banned again, because Seijuru likes to play a lot of LeBlanc. Nidalee for Mirai. Nico banned for Akazan, I think. I hope. I'm not wrong. Or maybe it's for top lane. Who knows? We'll find out. I'm perfect may place it. I don't... I, had, I haven't really done much research, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. I'm just watching and trying to give an honest uh, review of this. So... Last game they first picked uh, Jin, <coughs> and they responded with Ash Kazix, and their blue set again here, I think they chose blue. It looks like Fox Gaming most comfort- oh my god, he first rotated Kha'Zix again. Anyways, he first- they, it's the same, first rotation, first pick, no adaptation, which I kind of dislike, I think when you're going into a best of five, or- it is a best of five, right? Yeah, because I'm- yeah, it's a best of five. Or best of three, I'm not 100% sure. Holy shit, I am so not well read on this. I apologize uh, for that. I hope we can still do a good review. <coughs> so last game they went Graves instantly on the first rotation, which I'm probably gonna do again. So it's just the same draft, basically. Okay, it's literally the same draft. Am I watching the first game again? I am watching the first game. Am I not? I'm watching the first game. I am literally watching the first game. No, I'm not watching the first game. What the? F <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Let's go back here. So, same first three again. I thought I was watching first game. Rumble ban. This is what I wanted them to do first game. Rumble plus uh, Volibear. Just commit to the top lane pick. However, I don't see a reason to... Wait, was Leona banned there? I think Leona's banned. I can't really see it because of the Twitch thing. By the way, I, do I get banned for this if I'm watching another guy's Twitch? I shouldn't get banned for it, right? Because I'm just watching a VOD. It should be available for everyone. Well, let me know if I'm gonna get banned so I can delete my VOD and fly away to Africa and hide forever. So, Leona is banned, very good ban, and they gave them basically the choice. You guys either pick Nautilus or you, I don't know why the hell they would pick Nashen Blinder because they could literally just pick Nautilus. There's no other support that can counter it. They would only be able to answer with Braum. Uh, they could have just four pick Nautilus there and then last pick top lane, so Senny would have to blind top and Rumble is out, so I don't think he has many blind picks left. However, they decided to pick Shen there. They could have flexed it to support as well, but it's Shen support right now is not as good. <coughs> Shen Kha'Zix, pretty good combo overall. I like the Silas in Twisted Fate. Honestly, I like uh, the Black Lotus draft a lot more. I think Fiora is a very risky pick and you have to play very well. Uh, the only good thing about Fiora this game is that no one is going to be able to stop her on side. Uh, she wins against both Shen and uh, Silas. I think Shen will have uh, a decent laning phase versus her. It shouldn't be that hard. Should actually win the laning phase early on. Uh, so I'm expecting Fiora, once she gets two items, she should be able to take over the side lane. <coughs> so let's go into the game. Alright, so level one. Uh... Again, the Kha'Zix, not really sure. I think he's just a one trick Kha'Zix, right? So it's probably just Comfort. Comfort is very good to play when you're playing competitive. So can't really disagree with that. Gonna go ahead and drink some water. I think late invading with Kha'Zix, Ash Braum definitely enables it, but I actually don't think they win that hard level one because they have a TF as well. I think they could have easily contested this. But they decide to start blue, and he's probably going to run to his red. It's just a map split overall, which is kind of fine for... I think it's better for top side than it is for... Because Fiora doesn't have that strong early. So I think Shen probably has the best opportunity to win lane in early game. Maybe I'm completely wrong about this matchup, because I haven't seen it. But uh, that's at least my understanding of it. But yeah, I think this map split doesn't really do much for uh, Black Lotus. Because I think when you have Shen, one of the things people don't really think about is that you actually need to play through Shen early game, right? You need to make sure that he gets, uh, he has the lane control so he can ulti freely at level 6 
and uh, he can choose when to use ulti. It's really bad for Shen if he has the ulti when his lane is being pushed in, right? Because then he has a TP back top, and if he doesn't have TP, he's kind of doomed. So you kind of want to help Shen in the early game, make sure that he gets a stable laning phase, even get a gank off, because it's very easy with the taunt. And I think it's very hard for Fiora to actually react uh, instantly uh, with her W, so I think top lane gank would definitely be possible this game. Um, I think early game is going to be pretty stable, not much is going to happen. I don't know why the quality is so bad, it kind of feels bad that it's so bad, but I'm sorry guys, this is the best I could find. And uh, bot lane, run, uh, running low on mana, <coughs> Black Lotus does have the priority considering the lane swap. Or the map split early game, nothing much happening, Kha'Zix is going for a full clear. And now top wave is bouncing back after Senyu pushed two waves and did a shield refill. So I think Shen is in a bit of a pickle here, it's kind of a big wave so I think it's hard for them to gank him. Um, overall, pretty stable early game. I'm looking at the win conditions and I think that getting TF to level 6 is probably going to be looking at top lane or top side early on. The map split just continues, Mirai has not decided to take over bot side back uh, again, they're just going to continue this map split. And uh, since Kha'Zix left the one small raptor, it's not respawning while Mirai took his raptor, so it's actually respawning here. So Mirai is actually getting a bit ahead on this, he's going to get one camp ahead of this. Midwave is in a freeze, he's probably going to have to TP back if Silas decides to freeze it, but he's just going to collect the wave on the tower, he's way too low on mana and does not want to risk it. So he decides to push one more wave. I think this was kind of bad. I, th I feel like TF could just TP on this wave and force Silas TP afterwards. Because the thing about TF is that like, even if he doesn't have TP, he still has ulti, right? But the problem is that Silas can match his ulti with his TP, right? So you kind of want to force that TP early on. Even though Silas can steal your ulti, he can only steal it like once every three minutes. So I think it would be really good if he TPs back mid here so with Mirai being around mid as well and force a freeze. And basically Silas will have to base, lose a bit of minions, and then he has to TP back as well. But yeah, they're gonna have to give up this dragon, they haven't really contested around bot side. I am expecting them to contest around bot side once uh, Nautilus hits level 6. But then again, there's a Shen ulti on top of them, so we need to also be careful of that. Or Fox Gaming needs to be careful of that. <coughs> Overall, pretty stable early game, they get first dragon, not much happening. Map split in the early game, both the junglers respected it. Mirai's gonna try to contest his top side crab. <coughs> has blue buff, they have top lane priority, Shen is level 6, but unfortunately they do have mid priority, so they're not going to be able to contest this crab, but the TF ulti getting used by Silas, that is very big. And also again, I, I want to give props to Nautilus, or Narut Narutia, uh, I think he's been doing really good with his map movement, he's already running towards topside here, knowing that it might be a potential fight, and I think as they see Nautilus moving, they think that, okay, maybe this fight is not winnable, they're probably not gonna look to commit. I think overall, really good movement by Narukia, and he's also moving with his jungler here, looking for the... Oh, oh my god, that feels fucking bad, by the way. That feels terrible. Oof. You do not want to lose this red buff like this. 21 HP. Okay, that must be a tilter. I think Kha'Zix is gonna tilt him. Out of the game. I, once again, we see the Kha'Zix being completely useless pick in the early game. It is a very weak champion, and Shen having to use the ulti uh, defensively is probably the worst thing that you could... Uh, that could happen to you in the early game. You wanna... When you have Shen, it's very important that you use it very offensively, because you wanna make like a dive bot, your Shen ulti like that, but using Shen ulti defensively, it's very terrible. It's the same with TF, you want to make sure that your first ulti is very impactful and then from there you'll snowball, right? But having to use your ultis defensively like this is very bad for the game. But I really like how Narukia is playing this game. I feel like he's defending his bot side camps, making sure that Kha'Zix can't run to his red buff. He's basically not laning, which is kind of, I think he's really carrying the early game. He's definitely like being everywhere and i really like how he's playing this game and last game as well he was also in the right uh, place could the uh, black lotus uh, punish this with bot lane they could look to dive this gym he does have cleanse but no heal uh, but they haven't really looked for anything and now that shen ulti is down they have to kind of play respectfully and they can't really look for plays and tf uh, just uses ulti though i think this is the window to look for plays 
uh, for the Fox Gaming with Shen ulti being down. <coughs> but however, uh, like we saw, Shen having to use the ulti there defensively, lost him two plates around top side, which is gonna give Semi a really nice lead in the early game here, which is what you want to do with Fiora. You just wanna farm and scale, so he's uh, this is game is going really well right now for Semi. But like I said, Bramble Vest are huge counter to Fiora, so laning phase is getting a little bit rough for him until he gets some lifesteal in this matchup. But overall, going pretty well. Mirai is farming his camps. Uh, already having a 20 CS lead over Kha'Zix, because Kha'Zix is a useless champ. And I think it's just very slow overall, Kha'Zix. Um, I understand that he's a one trick, but I, th I really think he should. I like the Nidalee ban, because Nidalee is a very high tempo jungler. So you also should probably ban Graves when Mirai plays this much Graves. And I'm not sure which ban they would actually give up, because they're kind of scared of LeBlanc as well, right? But I really dislike that they keep leaving Graves open and going Kha'Zix into it, when Kha'Zix is like automatically going to fall behind. Um, but overall, pretty, s pretty chill early game. Uh, TF is getting his ulti back up, and Shen is getting his ulti as well. He ha does have lane priority on top lane, so they might be able to look for a play bot with Senyu not having TP. And this is what I meant, you want Shen to be able to push top and then TP away, but if Shen is getting pushed in and TP's away, then he's gonna lose his full tower, right? And they're looking for a gank here mid, which is kinda nice, they know that they have to attack the TF so he cannot move out freely. Cause uh, if you don't attack TF, then he's gonna be able to ulti on side lane without losing anything, so getting him chunked like this is kinda stopping from ulting early on. Mirai here with a really good chunk, uh, playing around Senyu, and uh, Senyu is uh, kinda, kinda the carry of this team, I believe. Uh, him and Mirai are kind of like the superstars, but I still want to give a lot of credit to Narukia. This guy has been everywhere on the map and he's playing extremely well, so I really feel like uh, Fox Gaming are just uh, really good at uh, playing as a team. And it, you can t definitely tell how well they play. Uh, the putting down the Herald top, Shen is forced to use ulti. Uh, once again, he has to use ulti defensively, which is again very terrible for him. and. It honestly kind of just sucks, if I'm being honest. Um, having to use both your channel ultis at 11 minutes just defensively is just very, very sad. However, they do pick up the second dragon, and as we saw last series, dragons are very OP, and teams team to f seem to fight around it very actively. And none of the both team wants to give up dragons. But this game, since it was a match split, I think uh, Fox Gaming have decided to just give up the early game and try to let Fiora scale. Which I think is the right decision. Over again, uh, Sejuro and Mirai working together, going into topside jungle, taking away these Raptor camps, uh, abusing the fact that Kha'Zix is very behind and not really a factor in the game right now. And once again, Narukia uh, hovering always the side that his jungler is at, knowing that. Uh, Proxius cannot get dived right now, and he's under no threat, so he's able to do these kind of roams. I'm wondering what they're gonna play for, because top turret is one plate now, so even if Shen does have ulti up, which he does in like one minute, if he ultis away, he's gonna be losing that top lane turret, and Senu's gonna get a big lead. He rushed the Ravenous Hydra, which I like a lot, because Shen does have Bramble Vest, he's gonna be able to push his lane very freely without losing anything. Mirai with two level up, uh, two level lead, and Kha'Zix in Africa right now, um, just running out there a bit too deep, having to jump away, and uh, again being caught out of position. Fox Gaming has seemed so so coordinated as a team and look at Mirai's gold uh, like CS lead. It's uh, 111 CS up to, to 72. That's almost uh, like a 40 CS lead. Uh, this early into the game, 40 CS lead is extremely huge. I think he's a big part of the the gold deal. Him and Senyu has been doing really good together already. I think if Fox, uh, if Black Lotus wants to win this game, they kind of have to take away this uh, this Graves plus uh, this TF combo. I think Graves TF is very strong together and it allows Mirai to play as aggressive as he wants because he knows that TF can always ulti and port on top of them. Even though Silas is a very good pick, but I feel like their jungler is always behind so they're not able to contest mid and prior. But as we see here, it is a blue buff contest, a bit over aggressive by Fox Gaming, but might work out well. Sejuri getting caught on the side lane. Side wave here. 
it turns horribly and Shen finally uses another ulti defensively but this time it works out they do get the kill and they do get to catch the twisted fate and the nautilus which is wait did he die he didn't die actually never mind but look at top wave right now so this is for them it's not worth it at all shen once again he's having a good time on top lane he, i mean he lost his turret right but look at the wave here the wave is going away right and there's gonna be like two waves stacked for him wait by the way i need to check i need to make sure that my camera is not blocking the minimap how do i check it how do i check it screen maps oh it's perfect actually now oh nice okay uh but yeah again <laughs> I don't know why Senio is basing, I think he could just push up the top wave. Oh, he doesn't base, okay. But here again, the Shen having to TP, ulti, use ulti defensively every time, even though he's winning lane early, he's not able to ever TP on his own window. It's never a proactive play by Black Lotus. It's always Kha'Zix getting caught, or an invade, like it's always something, right? But yeah, Senio is just gonna take over this game, right? I feel like... He's just way too strong and it's giving way too much uh, free resources. And Mirai has been keeping track of his... Um, what's it called? His uh, Raptor camp and been timing them uh, very well. He's been on them every single time. Uh, another Herald is gonna go to Fox Gaming. They've been on point with these Heralds, knowing what the win condition is. Having to play for these Heralds and playing for top set early on is very, very well. Uh, honestly, I think with Fiora you don't actually need to play for top. You just need to let her scale and make sure she doesn't get dove. But they did play for top and Black Lotus didn't really do anything bot side even though Narukia is always roaming around top side and the Jin is being left alone, he's not being punished for it. So once again, a very hard game for Black Lotus already, they're already 2k behind, almost 3. And the Senyu is uh, taking over the game basically, Mirai keeps playing around him, gonna put down this Herald possibly, get this top lane turret and inhib tower. Not much they can do about it, perfect, getting in with a good taunt, even though it does not matter that much. But also, ooh, Mirai a bit aggressive there, a bit too much. I think Nautilus does not have sums either, it's gonna be a double kill for Akazan. That is no bueno for uh, their team. Uh, wow, this was a bit overcommitment. I, I really feel like uh, 16 minutes into the game, you don't need to go for this tower. I think they don't even need to put down Herald, because I think uh, they should use the Herald for mid lane turret instead. Because right now, mid lane turret is probably the priority. You want to get this mid lane turret so TF can push really, really deep and then use his ulti to move on the side lanes, right? But using the Herald here, you can see the turret is basically dead already when the Herald comes out. This Herald is very useless and not very good for the game. Uh, they should be pushing out this top wave, push it deep, get the turret, uh, push the next wave, and then rotate to mid and try to use the Herald there instead. They end up over committing and as you can see they end up paying for it with their lives. Definitely not a the best decision. And Mirai also giving his shutdown there. What's how much shutdown do they have actually? Two hundred gold, okay. So he gets six hundred gold there. But uh, not very nice for Silas, because Silas is one of the win conditions. Him getting winning the side lane is very important. He needs to be winning against this TF. And I think up until this point he was not winning that easily. Uh, but now he's very strong, got, tri uh, got double kill. Senyu survives, getting a greedy recall. And now we need to keep track of these three dragons that they have. Uh, dragon is probably going to be the win condition, the soul is probably going to be the next fight, and that's where the game is going to be decided. I think uh, Fox Gaming do a really good job at snowballing one lane, but I think they're not very good at uh, transitioning their lead to other lanes. So like I said, when I said that they should be pushing this wave and not using the Herald and then rotate mid to get mid lane down as well and then break open the game. And even after they go mid, they could be contesting this dragon. They don't need to give the third one because considering how strong they are and far ahead. Uh, but af if they went mid and put down the Herald there, they would be able to push the mid wave and then go into bot side and maybe play with bot turret as well uh, afterwards. But instead they overcommitted, they lose a little bit and give uh, Silas a couple of kills. So Silas is very good into the game right now. Uh, Shen does have ulti up, but Twisted Fate as well. Sitting on his cleanse with his spellbook. I expect mid lane to be the next objective. Senyu a bit overconfident here. This might be a bit too much. Let's see how he ended up in this position. He pushes this wave, which is uh, pretty normal, you know. Um, I think... Mm. 
Because I'm thinking, they already took two heralds, right? So it's fine that he's topside, but it's no objective topside. I would like to see Sandy go bot instead and take the bot lane turret. Maybe move Twisted Fate bot or anyone. Just uh, play for the bot lane turret, basically. Because there's no point in having Sandy top lane here. He's clearing the waves and pushing them deep. Um, clearing that wave was very good, but then he kind of disrespect his whole team is bot side this is a big mistake by Senyu actually he's sitting here on top lane when he knows that his whole team is bot side he's gonna be paying for his life oh what the hell is this dude is he he's not gonna survive that tf ulti comes out but way too late they're gonna be able to trade for bot lane turret oh okay bit late on the queue did not connect However, the mid lane turret should be open up now. Bot lane turret is gonna go down. This is gonna help them a lot with how they use their side lane prior. I would like to see Twisted Fate go on a side lane together with uh, Fiora. Not uh, in the same lane, but go on one side each. Get the side lane prior, rotate to mid, and try to break this mid lane turret as soon as possible. Once you break down this mid lane turret, the game is gonna become a lot easier. It's gonna be easier to get that deep vision that they need for in order for Senyu to take over the game. Uh, Senyu keeps going top side, uh, which I understand because Dragon is coming up in around two minutes. Uh, let me check when Dragon coming up. Yeah, two minutes. Holy shit, I was right. It was just a guess. Uh, he's just going to keep pushing top here. I think they could definitely attack this uh, Senyu. Because right now, Shen does not, ha uh, I mean, TF does not have ulti, so I think it's pretty free for them if they want to look to attack the side lane. And Senyu is kind of overextended. But they're not going to do that. I think Kha'Zix, what he did before was really good because he didn't have flash the... Fiora, and I think that should be the win condition to just keep attacking the Fiora on side lane before she gets her Trinity Force and gets really strong. Uh, but the right now, Senyu is just kind of free laning, and Silas is going to be pushing bot. He does win against TF considering the three kills he got earlier. So I would like to, I think they really don't want to give up the soul, so this is probably where the next fight is going to be. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Oh, Silas using the TF ulti actually. Having to force the both summoners, but I think they overcommitted a little bit. Let's see if they can win this. Uh, Fiora is not gonna TP, she's gonna stay top and keep continuing the push. Which I kinda like, but at the same time, I think I'm not sure if it's the best. It definitely is the best actually. I think Fiora should never TP away. She should just play for herself and get stronger and stronger. They're TPing behind top lane here. Is it a double TP just come down? No, it's Silas only, okay. Dragon is also coming up in 30 seconds. Senyu does have TP, but I think he's going to be paying uh, with his life here. Unless he can... No, Senyu, run. Run, Senyu! You already did... You already got the inib. There's no point in... In trying to outplay him. Just run! Uh, I would really like... Because the thing is, right, Senyu, he gets the inib, which is basically the goal. And the dragon is coming up in 40 seconds. He needs to get a base off ASAP, so he can be there for the dragon. Um, I mean, Kha'Zix is dead, so the dragon should be free anyways, but I think it was a bit risky to keep staying here. However, this dragon should be kind of free, TF is pushing bot lane, they have to catch the waves, they're not going to be able to contest this one. It is the first dragon for Fox Gaming, so it shouldn't be an issue for uh, the Black Lotus. I'm not really sure what the Black Lotus win condition is right now. I think Fiora is gonna getting stronger and stronger, and she's going to be winning those side lane against both ones. I would really like to see him face off uh, versus Silas because he is the strongest one and uh, this Shen does not have any MR so it would be nice to put TF versus versus this Shen but considering he does have TP he's gonna be going bot lane uh, and they're basically just gonna be free farming this uh, top wave considering they took the end up early on. Uh, I would like to see them take the down this mid turret. I think it's been up for way too long. The second use of the Herald really slowed down the game uh, but they do have a 5k gold lead here again. Or is it a 4k? No, it's 4k. Um, and basically, all they need to do right now is just wait for Senyu's pressure and make sure that they're gonna have to catch top wave before they look for a fight. So right now, it's good that they're backing off the mid wave. They don't need to do anything. Senyu's gonna be pushing bot lane and keeping up the priority. Uh, this is probably the moment to contest the mid wave and go for the mid lane turret. Because right now, we see that Silas has to deal with this wave and he's already so low on mana and low on health. So he's not gonna be able to match or like come to mid lane. So right now I would like to see Senyu either push this wave and then rotate towards mid, but he should have already rotated mid earlier. Like here, he's a rotating, right? Because this wave does not matter. Like he's not going to be able to hit the turret in front of Shen anyways. He has no 
point of being bot side right now. He should be grouping mid right now and they should be going as 5 mid and they should be looking to brute force this mid lane turret. There's not much counter play, they know that Shen has to catch this bot wave. Use that advantage, use that knowledge to go into mid lane and outnumber them and get down that mid lane turret so you can start playing for deep vision. But Sandy stays bot lane. Uh, Narukia goes and gets the top side vision anyways and they play for the, for the, for the red buff. I think it's fine to play for red buff, but this was really the moment to play for the mid lane turret. There was not much counterplay for this mid lane turret right now if they went for it. Because they know that Silas is on top wave, he's too low to contest or too low to move, he cannot move right now, right? And uh, Senyu also pushed out the bot wave already, like they should be mid lane looking to dive them or just taking the mid lane turret, grouping up as 5. And that turret is basically like 3 hits with the uh, Fiora and Jin, so... That's kind of sad, that was an opportunity for them to take the mid lane turret so they can be able to get the vision, but they prioritize the red buff instead. Um, let's see if they get another window to get the mid lane turret. Uh, st still, again, I, I don't see them moving together. Like they're not, they're not playing for this mid lane turret actively. Uh, I feel like they they could take mid lane turret, but they're not looking for it for some reason. They started off Nasher, which I think is very terrible. I, I don't think it's a good choice to start Nasher. It's 23 minutes in. You guys only have Nautilus. You don't really have a real tank. It's level eight. Uh, you're gonna just lose a lot of health, and uh, basically you kind of pay for it right now. Shen has ulti, uh, ulti away again, he flash taunt. Very good, very good play from Foxy and me. Like, uh, this, uh, that's what I mean, like, they're, they're way too impatient. Like, Nash, you should never start like this. Okay, you have the bot lane priority, you have the mid lane priority, right? Okay, you're doing good. Top wave here, he's gonna be pushing into enemy team and someone's gonna have to catch it uh, sooner or later. You don't have to start this right now. Just play with them, play with them a bit. On this next mid wave, be there together. Get this mid turret, break this mid turret. Once you break the mid turret, you're able to go in deeper into their jungle and then choke them out of vision, and then you can start Nash. You also have a top lane inhib, but I haven't seen them use the top lane inhib effectively yet. They're still just making impulsive decisions like starting the Nash uh, when they don't have a tank. It's gonna be rough, like you're not gonna be able to do it. And Senu is also bot, like they need to wait for the windows. They need to wait for Senu to push out bot, move mid, and then look to get the mid lane turret. Anyways, they end up paying with their lives for it. Black Lotus gets back into the game here, and now they're gonna be able to clear the top wave, get a lot of free farm. Basically, the last five minutes they've been just free farming this top wave, and this top inhib has not given them anything. Uh, Senu did uh, manage to get the bot lane turret, but this mid lane turret needs to go down, guys. Please, we need to take down this mid lane turret. Okay, they do get the mid lane turret eventually. Okay, I'm not sure what Black Lotus can do right now. I think they just got TF Flash. He does not have Flash anymore. They need to do something about this Fiora. Top wave is pushing in, bottom wave is pushing in. Send you, get that wave in, and start moving. I mean, you don't have to move actually. I think Send you can just keep pushing because they have to respond to this Nash. It's 5k. Send you should TP in here. Silas cannot move. He does not have TP either. This should be a TP, and they should be looking to fight this actually. This is a really good opportunity. This is good start of Nash. Okay. So mid lane turret is down now. Top wave is two super minions pushing in. It's gonna be a huge wave that they have to catch. Senu just pushes bots right now. I think right now Senu should start moving towards mid lane and then zoning them off while they do Nash. This Nash is completely free right now. If Senu starts moving right now, he can zone them off here. Or like there's two options, right? So Senu can either move and help his team get this Nash or and secure it. Or he can stay bot and tell Shen, hey, if you TP away, I'm gonna take bot in and it's up to you, dude. And he can do that play as well. But Shen does have ulti and TP. I think the correct play is him moving towards mid and then zoning them off and letting them secure this Nash. I think he even has TP, so I think TPing right now would be a really good opportunity. If he TPs on here and let them finish Nash and look to turn. As they stun here, there should already be a TP coming in right now. Like, TP should be coming. TP, 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 Like, if they want to get this Nash, if they really want to get this Nash, right? But the only good thing that Senu is doing is that he's making sure that Shen cannot ulti away because he's going to be losing his bot lane turret. He doesn't have ulti actually, he just got it up. Oh uh, yeah, okay, my bad. He just got it up actually, but even if he wants to TP away, he's going to be losing that bot lane in it and that is not a worth trade. But yeah, a bit sloppy from uh, Fox Gaming, but I think they have the right approach. They're just not on the... They're just not doing it fully correctly, I would say. 
Uh, Dragon's coming up again. Is this the soul for Black Lotus? They're probably going to look to contest this. This is probably their last option to take it. Because if they wait to the next dragon, I think uh, Senu is going to be way too strong for them to contest. Um, and let's see if they decide to fight for this dragon. Oh, sorry. I skipped too much. Uh, let's see if they decide to fight for this dragon or if they're going to look to continue pushing top. So dragon comes out here. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was way too close. That was way too close. Holy shit. Um... I mean, I like uh, Naruka that he's engaging right there. I think it is the right uh, right chance to do it. But I think Kha'Zix should not be able to get into the pit. I think they should be ulting there. They're four versus three right now. The uh, Silas is not there. They're a lot stronger. They should definitely get a uh, kill in there. Shen doesn't ult away. Send your TPs in. Get stopped. Gonna be able to get this in it most likely. Ooh, a bit too close to be honest. A bit too close. Considering how ahead they are. This should be Nash. Kha'Zix and Silas are dead. And Fiora is gonna help with it. Because I think once you get Nash with this comp. You wanna have Nash with TF plus uh, Fiora. You wanna Once you get Nash I think it's really easy to break down these inhibs. Uh, that's why I kind of wanted the Senyu to move. And help his team to get secure the Nash. Because Nash is probably the, like, the best win condition for them to accelerate the game. Uh, Senu is super strong at this, even though Senu is 0-1-0, the amount of pressure that he's put on this game is uh, very impressive. Uh, they're gonna be opening up on the one with the one three one. Senu is gonna be top lane and TF is gonna be pushing bot. They need to wait a little bit so TF can push out the, the waves. This fight right now that they're taking is a bit too risky. I mean, Sejuro doesn't have ulti yet with his TF. He does have TP, but I still think it's kind of bad because Senu is top lane as well. I think they should wait on this wave that's coming out of base. If they if they start sieging on this base on this wave, then the bot wave is going to be around here, and the uh, top wave is also going to be around here. Then they can start uh, like pressuring all three lanes at the same time. But right now, this is the only window that they should not fight because the enemy team can outnumber them. Kazik should not be a top side either. He should be around mid with Sila. Sila should not be on top here. He should not be looking to catch this wave. They should be grouping mid right now and looking for a fight the, while uh, their ultis are down. But I like what Shen is doing right now. He's looking for an opportunity while they're sieging mid. They're not able to find anything, however. Oh, Mirai getting hit there. Not really able to do anything, sadly. This could have been good if Silas was there too and Kha'Zix. They could have looked for the opportunity to fight there. But right now, as you see, right, because they didn't find that opportunity, look where all the waves are. The bot wave is here. The mid wave is here and top wave is here. So now they're just fucked because they have to respond to three wa waves at the same time and they all lose their side lane. So they're not going to be able to respond to them. And now it's just basically a sieging match. Um, it's just a matter of if they lose their cool and try to... Um, I This this is not good. I okay, so when you have Nash, the most important thing is that you buff waves. Buff waves and don't die. That's basically the first and the only step that you need with Nash. You should not leave your waves. Like, the bot wave right now is so huge. It's almost three waves stacked on top of each other. If Seijuru just stays bot and buffs these waves, he's going to get bot in him no matter what. Ulting away here to, to TP is just a waste of time. Because you're getting a kill, right? Yeah, good job. You get a kill. But what do you get after that? You don't get anything. Because you, you want to get the objectives with Nash. You want to siege. And him leaving this wave is huge. Because Silas is going to be able to clear it now. And they're basically not even going to get this kill, which is really bad. Uh, a bit greedy by Nautilus, not using his ulti. If they really want to get this kill, they should just commit to it. TF ulti does give him vision. They should just be giving that, uh, getting that ulti off already. <coughs> but yeah, now the bot wave is in Africa, and they have the group mid as 4 instead. And they're so strong, so they're able to do that. But they could have easily taken 3 inhibs uh, this, uh, this time around. Uh, I like the fight from Black Lotus here. I think it's their last decision to do it. If they don't fight here, they're going to be losing uh, all 3 inhibs. Uh, Jin, uh, Mirai bases. I think they're gonna be able to pick up some kills here. Good uh, Captain Jack cleanse by Proxius. Was it Captain Jack? Let's check it. Boom! Yeah, Captain Jack, baby, let's go. But yeah, instead of getting three inups, they only get two now. And they lose two people. Uh, not the most optimal. Uh, I think Black Lotus are really happy with this. They're gonna get two inups, they'll be able to farm up this. However, I do think they get outscaled, so it maybe doesn't even matter. Um, 
But I think it's always possible to win, right? So you never know. Anyways, the dragon's coming up in one minute. Man is gonna be going bottom, pushing this out. We're gonna keep on the siege. I like it. Um, grouping bot right now. Two units are down. Just group bot and try to get the get the last unit there. Oh, close, close, close. Oh, another fight. Okay. Um, I think taking the turret here is fine. Maybe poke the inib a little bit, but they should not overcommit here. I think because the dragon is coming up in around 15 seconds and the top wave is about to crash and mid wave as well. I think if they just wait like 10 seconds, then they're gonna get the inib no matter what. Uh, even though they probably will win this fight, it's still about... Wait, do they even win this? I don't think they win this actually. Oh no. Oh no. What are you guys doing? Uh, look at the waves in the base now. Okay, look, you see the waves, right? They're crashing at their turret. If they went right now, then the enemy team has to choose to give up their Nexus Tower or to give up this inib. You just need to play with the waves and be patient. This is the o you need to recognize that this is the only window that the enemy team has to engage on you. You have to be, you have to see this. You have to see this in game. Because look at the waves, right? They would have to respond to this. Like they're not gonna stay bot and like fight you. They're gonna end up losing the soul now because of this. A uh, bit greedy. It was a very easy win for Foxy Gaming if they were a little bit more patient. Senyu, however, is on three items now. Should be stomping the side lane. Uh, Mirai as well, having a lot of lethality. I think buying. I think they should have Last Whisper soon though, just for the true damage. It's always nice. Uh, this Nash should still be free. Senyu should be able to take the bot lane in it. Not much Shen can do about it. So they have to choose, right? I mean, right now, Senu should probably realize that they have to choose either go bot and defend the inhib and collapse on Fiora, which is probably the best, or fight this Nash. They're not going to be able to fight the Nash. Uh, they make the conscious decision of just going on Senu instead. Senu does get the inhib anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, not bad overall. I think they will just wait on Senu now and try to close out the game, get the double inhib. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Why is Seijur on mid lane? Oh, no! Ah, por que? Uh, also, this is a big rule as well. You already have mid inhib. Number two rule is to always base with your team. Because if you don't base with your team, this is what happens. It's basically the chain effect. Because right now, Senu just died. So, someone else is going to die. It's always a chain effect, right? You see this a lot in solo queue where one guy dies and another guy dies and then a third guy dies, right? So you want to be aware of this and just reset with the team, defend until Senu is up and just relax. They lose the mid lane turret. I mean, this game should have been over like 10 minutes ago, uh, but I think there's a lot of errors. They do still have Nash. They should be able to push the waves. Just relax. Okay, okay. All right, game is still winnable. It's no problem. They just need to break down this inips now. Senu is super strong, he does have a Zonia as well. Oh my God, what is happening again? Oh my God, guys, guys. Actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Team Lotus actually, or the Black Lotus actually has more kills, <laughs> 15 kills, but they're behind in gold. Okay, let's see what happens here again, guys. Why are we not pushing bot lane when we have Nash, guys? Why are we not bot lane buffing the waves? They leave the bot wave. Shan is completely free to just push out the waves. And now they group up mid. Mirai is way too aggressive there. This, there's no reason for you to walk up like that. Oh my god, Mirai. This was just way too aggressive. Mm, way too much. I think they will die now and then enemy team will end the game. Is that what's gonna happen? Yep. Oh my god, man. Well, Fox Gaming, you guys need some discipline. You need discipline. You cannot play like this. You need to be disciplined and wait for waves and wait for pressure. You cannot just go in and like this and be super aggressive. You also need to respect your opponents. Uh, this is way too, way too aggressive for no reason. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how the game does not end here, by the way. What happens? 
Okay. Yeah, they don't really have the damage to finish. Okay, so now they're... Okay, so... It's an open Nexus. Uh, TP is up for uh, Shen. He could look the back door. I don't know if they put down any wards. I can't see any wards. Oh, okay. This is what happened. Yeah. Who wins? Who wins it? Okay, okay, they win. Ah, okay, they ace them and they run over them. Okay, what a... What a... What a sad way for the game to end. I feel like this game was in Fox Gaming's hand the entire game. Definitely not the cleanest. Um, I hope they will be watching this review. I really want them to succeed. Um, but this was a bit too much. Could Akazi, could he Akazan have gone a bit earlier maybe? I like now again Narukia. I think this guy is actually my MVP, dude. The way he plays around the maps is really, really nice to see. He's always everywhere where Mirai is and enables him. Support is a really huge difference, uh, dependent on like jungle. If support goes with your jungler, you're always gonna win. So very nice. So that was the game two. Uh, Fox ended up winning that game, um, even though it was a bit sloppy. Would really like to see them pick it up, make it for the third game. I hope I see a bit better game. I want to see them hold on to their lead. Uh, they seem to be struggling with it and a little bit more of patience with the waves. Look at the minimap and look at the waves and see what is actually happening on the map. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in game three. Stick around. One, two, three.